LMPD policy aims to discourage the sale of confiscated firearms. Thousands of seized guns will have the firing pins removed before being sent to the Kentucky State Police to be auctioned off. WLKY Shaquille Lord joins us now with the reason for this new policy. Jack? Yeah, Jennifer, Mayor Craig Greenberg says under current state law, removing the firing pins is the best method they can use right now to help keep seized guns from getting back onto the streets. Krista and Nevada Gwen's push for public safety started when their son Christian was gunned down back in 2019. But I'm the face of that gun that took my son's life and it wounded my daughter. On Thursday, they stood with city leaders in support of a new LMPD policy aimed at keeping confiscated guns from returning back to the streets. Today is just the first step in our administration's efforts to end our illegal gun trade, to end our illegal gun crisis. LMPD says they currently have thousands of confiscated guns either abandoned, illegal, or used in a crime. Under state law, those guns must be turned over to Kentucky State Police. This new policy will have the firing pin taken out before it's sent and a sticker attached stating this weapon may have been used in a homicide in Louisville. This gun should never end up back on the streets of Louisville and have the opportunity to be used in another crime. Under state law, confiscated guns can't be destroyed. They are instead auctioned off by state police, with the majority of the proceeds going to police departments throughout Kentucky, like LMPD, to help pay for body armor. Greenberg is hoping lawmakers approve House Bill 325, which would allow for these guns to be destroyed. When we seize drugs in our city, we don't put those drugs back on the street and give them to a different drug dealer. We destroy them. Why don't we do the same thing with guns? The Kentucky State FOP opposes this bill, saying in part, statewide, this will have far-reaching ramifications for police and sheriff's departments that rely on funds from the legal sale of these firearms to purchase life-saving body armor for law enforcement. So taking the pen out right now is a stepping stone, and I appreciate that, but the gun that killed my son should be destroyed. And LMPD says the department has sent as many as 250 to 350 confiscated guns a month to KSP. But when asked, the department says it doesn't know how many of those confiscated guns, if any, were used again here, were used in crimes here in Louisville. I'm Shaquille Lord, WLKY News, back to you.